Hello, this is Andrew from Skyview Electronics. I'm just here to uh, show you guys a few different things about how to use your DVR. Uh, there's going to be a series of, of steps. Uh, we're going to make short little clips about each video and um, this is the first one which is why I've got the explanation in the front but uh, we're going to kind of go from the beginning of uh, you know the setup that I use when I, I start the DVR and and um, hopefully if you guys have any questions or you want to change something about your DVR down the road you can refer to these videos and, uh, and do it yourself. So the first thing we're going to go over is uh, how to set up your date and time setting. So right now I've just got one camera plugged in um, right here camera one and uh, and you guys can see that there. So if, if I want to bring up the uh, date and time settings, I just right click twice. I'm using the mouse. And then I want to go over here to the uh, little gear that I can click on. And then right up here in the menu list, I've got time. So I click on that. And then I can do the format, month, day, year. Here we've got uh, the 4th of uh, April sorry the 11th of April my bad and uh, 24 hour clock and the time is uh, is 2.59 uh, so um, that's set properly there if you want to change that you just click on it and a little list comes up and you can adjust the values however you want and then there's uh, daylight savings time uh, this is set up uh, properly for um, Eastern Standard Time so in Canada it's Manitoba, Quebec and Ontario and um, and then you can uh, you can set this so you want it to say uh, on and then March second week and then the clock says one because it's a one hour adjustment and then the end sun is November second week and then one again and then Whenever you close out of that menu, you're going to make sure you click on uh, the green, or sorry, the blue check mark that says apply parameters and settings. And then that'll save everything. And that, that's the same for every menu that you go to. If you ever make any adjustments and you don't click on that blue check mark, it's not going to save your progress. So just keep that in mind for any of the other uh, uh, changes that we make here. So. If I, I like the way that my time is set up and the format, you also want to do your apply parameters and settings here. Um, that's just a little warning. Um, the reason why I do my date and time first is because uh, if that's ever set, like they u usually come from the manufacturer with like a, you know, an off time. So you want to set that first because once you start recording, uh, any information on there uh, and then it's wrong and then and then you change your date and time again it'll basically the DVR will be kind of confused about uh, where to store that footage um, from the strange date that uh, was incorrect originally so I do this first and then I just confirm and uh, and then I exit out of that menu um, you can right click to go back where you can use these red X's but when you do the red X sometimes it'll uh, take me a little bit further back than I wanted to so I just right click with the mouse um, the next thing I want to do here is uh, I want to format my hard drive um, in case you guys notice right here I've got this little um, red X in a, in a stack here then that means that my hard drive isn't recording so what I want to do is, is I've got a hard drive in there but I need to format it first. So I go to um, right click and go to the settings menu again and I go to uh, hard drive and then um, you want to you wanna see here you've got, you've got your hard drive but it says no format so it hasn't been formatted. It shows you your space and then you just click format there and then you click format HDD right there so you want to make sure this box is checked make sure this is on you can keep this as auto it's fine and then just click HDD and then it will ask you to confirm okay so my hard drive is formatted and uh, 
I'm going to obviously apply the settings, confirm, and then right click to get out. And uh, all these other tabs here, like, you know, um, maintenance or anything like that, you don't really need to do that. If you want to do a proper power down of the DVR, you can do it in this setting. Okay, you've got the power off function and it'll, it's, it's like, um, it's like removing a device from your computer, uh, like a USB key. You, it's a good thing to practice. Uh, um, your computer will do a soft shutdown of those things and, um, and then you can, you know, remove them for, from your computer. The same, the same uh, works here when you, you confirm a DVR shutdown. It's going to shut down, you know, any of the peripherals. Your hard drive is going to shut down properly. Um, it's just, uh, you know, it's a safer way to do it every time. You can do a reboot as well. And, uh, and I leave auto maintain off. It's not really a feature I use. And, um, and that's, that's pretty much it in the, uh, the main system menu. Um, you know, you can change your language here to quite a few different languages. Um, I'm going to choose English because that's my only uh, language there. But um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it for system. And then uh, we're going to have another video on the uh, other settings as well.